GNS3. In this lecture, I gave you information about what is GNS3, who can use it, and how to download and install GNS3. What is GNS3? GNS3 stands for Graphical Network Simulator. GNS3 is an open source software. Simulate complex networks without having dedicated network hardware such as routers and switches. It runs on traditional PC hardware. Used on multiple operating systems, including Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X. And that will tell us Genesis 3 is a cross platform. Genesis 3 has been developed in Python programming language. In order to provide complete and accurate simulations, GNS3 actually uses the following emulators to run the very same operating systems as in real networks VirtualBox, Dynamaps, and Camel. These are emulators. It is important to keep in mind the word simulation means to act like something, and emulation is a place where simulation works. VirtualBox runs desktop and server operating systems. This picture for a server, Oracle Virtual Machine Emulator, doing simulation for the OS of this server. Dynamaps, the well-known Cisco IOS emulator. IOS is an abbreviation for Enter Network Operating System. This picture shows Cisco Router 2800. Dynamaps is emulator doing simulation for Cisco routers and switches. Camel, a generic open source machine emulator. It runs Cisco ISA, PIX, and IPS. This picture for Cisco ISA. Cisco ISA is a security device that combines firewall, antivirus, intrusion prevention, and virtual private network VPN capabilities. So, Camo is emulator doing simulation for ASA, PIX, and IPS. Who can use GNS3? GNS3 is an excellent alternative or complementary tool to real labs for network engineers, administrators, and people studying for certifications such as Cisco, CCNA, CCMP, and so on. To download and install GNS3, please follow me. Open your internet browser, type in the Google search engine the word GNS3, or directly from the address bar type www.gns3.net click on download link as i said before gns3 is cross platform and that's mean it runs on windows and linux and mac operating system according to the os running on my machine is windows so I have to navigate to Windows section. There are three links. The first link, all in one package. That means you will download GNS3 for 32-bit and 64-bit system type with other programs such as Wireshark, TimeViewer, WinPCAB, and SolarWinds Response. And the second link, standalone for 32-bit system type only. So. GNS3 with the following features only. The third link standalone for 64-bit system type. As in the description stated, new users to GNS3, it is recommended to download the all-in-one package below. So, click on all-in-one package. If you want access to GNS3 training and updates, subscribe by entering your email address or simply click on no thanks please take me to the download save the download installer package wherever you want 
I'll save it on my desktop. Open the installer package. Click on Next. Click on I agree. Click on Next. Select components to uninstall. I'll leave the default all the necessary components. And click on Next. Select the program directory. Or it's better to leave the default path and click on Install. Click on Next to begin installing WinPCAP component. Click on I agree. If you want this program start automatically at boot time, leave the checkbox checked otherwise uncheck. Click on install. Click on finish. If you want to install Wireshark and SolarWinds programs, you have to have internet access otherwise skip the download part and continue to finish GNS3 installation. Click on next. If you want to access to new releases and updates, enter your email address or just click on next. Are you sure you don't want to sign up? Oh, sorry, yes. An installation of GNS3 completed. Uh, click on finish and the GNS3 will be launched. Pop-up window for setup wizard shows only on the first time when you install GNS3. You have to configure three essential steps. Click on the first step. Specify the path to the projects and OS image directories. I have to create two folders. It doesn't matter where should I keep them. I will navigate to my documents and I will create new folder called GNS3. Inside of this folder I'll create two subfolders for images and projects. I have already downloaded iOS image for 3700 router so I'll just copy it inside images folder. So now, browse to the correct folder path for the projects just being created. Documents, GNS3, Projects, Select Folder. The same for OS image directory. Browse, Documents, GNS3, Image, Select Folder and click on OK. Step number two. Check the path for Dynamaps if it's working properly. Click on Test Settings and wait for seconds. So, no problem with Dynamaps. Click on OK. The last step, step number three, Add iOS image. Select the iOS image for router 3700. Click on Auto Calculation to find an adult PC value for iOS image from Dynamaps. Click on Close. For the default RAM, make it 128 MB. And click on Close. All the three steps have been configured. Now click on OK. This is the interface for GNS3. If you click on router icon, you're going to see all of them disabled. Only router C3700. And that's because I added only the iOS for this router. And now I can say GNS3 has been installed. GNS3 
powerful features internet if I have internet access in my machine it is possible to loop back the internet to GNS3 and routing the internet through the routers GNS3 support the integration with Wireshark Wireshark is a network protocol analyzer program to capture analyze and modify the packet between nodes GNS3 also support the integration with Oracle Virtual Machine Emulator. For more information about GNS3, visit the official website for GNS3 at www.gns3.net. See you in the next lecture.